Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be working on the kitchen mainly, and there's just gonna be a lot of miscellaneous tests that happen throughout, so make sure you stay tuned, because it's a pretty fun one. Well, to say I am bummed is a severe understatement. I was screwing in one of the shelves and it ripped a hole in the wall. So I just moved the screw over and did it again. And I was using these little anchors that screw into the wall and they, and they can hold like 75 pounds. So like that'll be way more weight than anything will ever actually weigh on those shelves. So. Um, I was using them and long story short, I ripped a hole that was too big in the wall and then it was just totally unusable for where I needed to screw that shelf. And if I were to move the shelf, it would have needed a patch. If I were to try and use it again, it would need a patch. So I ended up just cutting it out and redoing it with a little, what they call California patch where you kind of like back cut the drywall and then use the little flaps of the paper as the tape. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. I'm kind of really mad that I had to do that, but it's not really anything that I could have done differently to make that work better. So that's kind of where I am right now. And I'm gonna have to let that dry all night. So I guess I'm not finishing the pantry tonight. It is what it is. On to the next thing. All right, so here's a quick view of what I just did. I set this door, and what I did was I set this left side because I couldn't reach around this door when it was open to set this side first. So I set this side plumbing level, and that just means making sure it's level like forward tilting ways, and then also level this way and this way. So I got that level and all set up, and then I moved my way over to this other side and my goal was just to make it as flush with the wall as I could and still be plumb and level. And I set that side and then once that was all set, I went through and I made sure the gap all the way around the door was all the same from top to bottom on each side. And I made sure that the door wasn't gonna rub anywhere and I did that by just backing out the screws a little bit and putting shims in to force it into place. And then just retighten the screws on the shims. And then once you cut the shims off, flush with everything, you use a multi-tool to do that, you will be able to put your trim back up and you will be all good to go with your door.
Oh, and another quick tip for this is when you install your screws for the door, take out the weather stripping and put the screws where the weather stripping go. You can see you just tuck them in there. And when you do that, you don't have to do any caulking of screw holes because they're completely hidden. And then if for whatever reason you need to take the door out, you can just take off the weather stripping and then screw the screws in. You won't have to deal with screws not catching the caulk and ruining the door frame. So last place I finished off, I finished the two doors in the kitchen, the one going down the stairs and the one going into the pantry. I didn't really do a great job explaining how I built the pantry, but I will do that here in just a second. But a quick update for something that is super exciting. I'm sitting at my island right now. We got the countertops installed and it is freaking sweet. So we got four chairs on this side. We got overhang for two chairs on this side. All of the countertops are in on the appliance wall and all of the appliances are in. I have the water lines ran up to the sink, but I still got to install it. You can see it just sitting there and that's something I'm going to work on today. But I don't know if this puts it in a good perspective, but this island is absolutely massive. It's like 10 and a half feet long by four foot wide and it can fit six people and we can lay out some pretty sweet charcuterie boards on this. It's less of an island and more of a continent, I would say, but it to say it's big would be an understatement. So back to the kitchen pantry. I built this in such a way that I used two by two. I just cut a two by four and a half, and then I was just using that as the frame. And then I put a piece of plywood on top of it to give it structure as far as the shelf goes. And then over that, I did the same Luan that I put on the cabinets down low just to finish off the sides of them and then on the front I did a piece of trim so essentially what I did I've got this totally stocked now but essentially what I did is it's got two different pieces where the Luan meets the trim and all I did was spray paint them because I was going to just stain it but then I put the piece of trim on it and that's white and you can't stain that so I spray painted it and this was a whole trial and error thing. Uh, I'm not mad at how it turned out, but it's not exactly what I want, but there's a ton of storage as far as everything goes. So I'm not mad, but we got the microwave in there. There's a plug behind it and it's a pretty sweet setup. Definitely way better than it was before if you ask me, but who am I to judge if someone liked it the way it was before? So like I said, the next step, I am going to be installing the sink but I'm going to leave it at that for this video. And in the next one, we're going to accomplish a lot more. So if you like what you saw, make sure you click that like button down below. And while you're down there, subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. But otherwise, I will catch you in the next one.